Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick series recap as I was busy doing the Royals game this weekend, so we'll get to the recap of the Ice Hog, which is a great series against the Texas Stars. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use Widget Heat channel, growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Spread the word to your friends as well. Really appreciate the support this far. But let's get into it. This was a really good series for somebody like me who really enjoys talking about goaltending because both Matthew Murray and Orvid Soderblom, who were young, developing goaltenders in their systems, played tremendously in this series. Unfortunately, from the Texas Stars side, Matthew Murray was not able to get any help from his bunch as they scored one goal the entire series, where it's not like the Rockford Icehawks were all too better on offense. It's just Orvid Soderblom was spectacular, and the Hogs were able to push enough, of course, to get the goals there, where that was a really nice pass <clears throat> that from Teple to La Raquel in game one to set up the first goal. Of course, in that game, uh, where Teple really made a very nice feed, and then Jenowicz was able to really have a very nice deflection in front on the shot from Isaac Phillips with Cameron Morrison getting the second assist, and then a bad play in front by the Ice Hogs to be able to give Car Carlstrom that easy shot on net not being able to block that out was what led to the goal there. Nothing Arvid Soderblom could do about that. Where in game one, he was spectacular in cage, um, making 33 saves on Te Texas Stars, 34 shots. So, great game one for Arvid Soderblom. And then a huge reason on a pretty good push by the Ice Hogs, um, in the third period and second period, but in the first period, the Stars came out with a great push in this game, and Arvid Soderblom was a man on a mission not allowing them to score. Soderblom literally is potentially, he was good over in Sweden, an undrafted kid, had three games that he wasn't good in the NHL, but that's fine because he still has a lot of time to grow. He's only 22 and was an undrafted kid, has plenty of time to grow, and he's showing just how good he can be in crunch time in this postseason here in the Calder Cup playoffs for the Hogs as he didn't just come up big in game one, he came up bigger in game two as he was the MVP of the first period, keeping that game scoreless. And then throughout the game, he and Matthew Murray in regulation, of course, kept it scoreless as the shots were one advantage, 12-11. to 11. And then in the third, the Ice Hogs really pushed because at that point, the, the, the Stars just were not able to solve Soderblom, and that gave Ice Hogs all the momentum where you could really get a lot of momentum off of your goaltender's greatness, and he was spectacular in net in that game. And then they were able to capitalize early, only 56 seconds into the overtime as Phillips was able to get a second assist, Mitchell his first, as McLaughlin was able to rip that one past Matthew Murray, who stood no chance there as he was able to fire a heat-seeking missile shot on that one. Beautiful play, beautiful setup early in overtime for the Ice Hogs to win that game. This has been a recap of the Rockford Ice Hogs versus Texas Stars. The Ice Hogs move on in the two gamer as they sweep the Texas Stars due to Arvid Soderblom being the MVP of the series, and of course Isaac Phillips having two very good assists, being a key player in the series as well, one on the great shot and one on the great setup for the win in game two. And then I would say you have to throw in there as well. Uh, Lucas Raquel, who was able to score in game one and looked pretty active as well in game two, just because you don't get on the score sheet doesn't mean you didn't have a good game and look pretty damn good on the ice. So I thought he played an overall good series as well as the youngster in his first Calder Cup playoffs. So that's a very good thing to see. So the Ice Hogs move on. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above with these Juice Widget. This has been the latest edition of Pond Key Take as we recap the Rockford Ice Hogs versus the Texas Stars in this great goaltending series that Soderblom and his Ice Hogs were able to prevail in. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.